morning, children. Welcome back to our weekly children Sunday school online sharing. Hope you are all fine. I'm looking forward to go to school. I thank God now that the COVID-19 situation has improved. We still got to take care to stay clean and follow the SOP. To clean anything, you have to wash it, right? We wash our clothes, hands and our bodies with water and maybe soap or detergent of some kind. With COVID-19, we use sanitizer. You have heard of that? To clean our hands so that the virus won't get inside the body. Today's lesson, titled Clean and Unclean, taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verses 1 to 20, in the New Testament, is also a reminder for us to stay clean, not only in our hands, but more importantly, in our hearts. In our lesson today, we will meet some Pharisees who think that having clean hands is more important than having clean hearts. Think about that as we study together. But before we begin, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Father God, for this time that we can be together to bring the children to come and listen to your word. Help us as I share this message that we can understand your word. Speak to us, Lord, and may your Holy Spirit guide us. We thank you so much that we can have this time and we can listen to you. We pray in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Okay, children, as we get ready to read the Bible, as usual, we press the pause button for you to get ready to follow your Bible and then turn to the book of Matthew, which is in the New Testament, chapter 15, verses 1 to 20. And if you have paper, you can just bring along and to write something, you need a pen as well. Okay, if you are ready, then you can press the play button. Matthew chapter 15, verse 1. Then some Pharisees and teachers of the law came to Jesus from Jerusalem and asked, Why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? They don't wash their hands before they eat. Jesus replied, And why do you break the command of God for the sake of your tradition? For God said, Honor your father and mother, and anyone who curses his father or mother must be put to death. But you say that if a man says to his father or mother, Whatever help you might otherwise have received from me is a gift devoted to God, he is not to honor his father with it. Thus you nullify the word of God, for the sake of your tradition. You hypocrites, Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. Verse 8, These people honour me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are but rules taught by men. Jesus called a crowd to him and said, Listen and understand, what goes into a man's mouth does not make him unclean, but what comes out of his mouth that is what makes him unclean. Verse 12, Then the disciples came to him and asked, Do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard this? He replied, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be pulled up by the roots. Leave them. They are blind guides. If a blind man leads a blind man, both will fall into a pit. Verse 15, Peter said, Explain the parable to us. Are you still so dull? Jesus asked them. Don't you see that whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and then out of the body? But the things that come out of the mouth come from the heart, and these make a man unclean. For out of the heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false testimony, slander, these are what make a man unclean. But eating with unwashed hands does not make him unclean. It ends with the reading of God's word. May God bless the reading of his word. Okay, before we start sharing, let's go back a little to see the background and connection. Okay, what's the background? So the background is this is a story taken from the New Testament. And as you know, the New Testament has 27 books, huh? as you can see in the picture. Yeah, okay, 
Bible has got Old Testament and New Testament. The Old Testament has 39 books. Okay, so altogether there are 66 books in the Bible. Okay, now what is the New Testament about? It has got the story of life of Jesus and his ministry, his teaching, using parables, miracles, his healing, salvation, teaching about salvation, and how do we worship God? How do we get to know God in a way that he is instructing us to know? So all in, this is what the New Testament uh, teaches us to be uh, as Christians. Okay. Now, so far, what have we uh, done in these New Testament stories that have gone so far in the past few weeks? So we started off uh, with this uh, story about John the Baptist, where he announced the arrival of the Messiah. Okay. And then uh, we have heard this story of women, woman at a well. Okay. Jesus met this woman at a well, and he wants to have... Uh, it was she was told about this uh, well of living water okay so this is what we learned during that week and then we have this uh, beatitudes uh, about the blessings of God that we are told and, and how do we uh, do and how do we um, practice it okay and then there was another story about the miracles storm uh, there was a storm Jesus was woke up uh, to calm the storm, okay, because the disciples were frightened when they were all in the ship, okay. And then there was a story about this <clears throat> love for enemies that, you know, you should love your enemies as you love yourself in this uh, story that Jesus was teaching us about. And in the last week, we heard about the story of the parable of the sower, okay. So different types of people, different types of people who listen to the word of God, but and then different types of people may react differently. Some were accept, some will reject, some may accept initially but then reject later. So this is all on us. We have we are there are different type of people who accept God differently. You know, so this is teaching us where we should be. So if we want to listen to the word of God, we must accept the word of God and obey God's command. Okay, so this is so far that we have done in the stories that we have heard in the New Testament. But in this story, what are the things that we have learned before we go into the sharing? Okay, we started off uh, in this uh, chapter, uh, verses 1 to 20. We have some words like clean and unclean, so you know what is the meaning of clean and unclean. Okay, so in this uh, uh, story that Jesus was telling us, is is referring to spiritual cleanliness, not physical cleanliness, okay, like washing hands and things like that uh, before we eat and all that. All, all these things we do, okay, so this is all physical cleanliness, but Jesus is trying to tell us we have to live uh, spiritually clean so that it's acceptable to God. And also we heard this, read about this word hypocrites, you hypocrites. Jesus was telling about the Pharisees, okay, because they do one thing, uh, they say another thing, okay, so these are all hypocrites, they don't do what they say okay and another word tradition tradition you know okay so uh, in this story it's about the tradition of washing hands huh? the tradition of the Jewish people they wash hands before they eat but their tradition is deeper than what we do because by washing their hands when they eat they think that they are clean okay inside them okay but actually they are not you see so it is their belief you know it's not a belief in the Bible that this is the way that we should get to be clean, okay? So the command of God is more important than the command of man, okay? Then <clears throat> Peter also asked a question, tell us about this parable. So this is a parable that Jesus always teaches about. So I think you know what is the meaning of parable here, okay? So it has got earthly meanings huh, with a spiritual uh, story to it, okay? So this is what uh, Jesus' teaching is usually using parables to tell people so that they can easily understand, understood it, okay? And this word Pharisee here, okay, so we come across quite a few times and they are very learned people, but then they don't follow Jesus, okay? They always want to challenge Jesus, okay? So they don't really believe Jesus because they have their own way of belief and they just refuse to follow Jesus. So these are some of the... Uh, words that we find in this uh, text that we have read through, okay? In addition to this, there are two things that we also heard and read about, about the mouth and the heart, the relationship between the mouth and the heart, okay? Mouth is important for eating, as we all know, and speaking, okay? But heart 
what is mentioned here is that the heart contains all the evil thoughts um, like murder, stealing, lying, false testimony and things like that that we, we have because we are all born sinners. We have all these sinners and that's why we need Jesus to come and clean us, to wash away our sins. Okay, so children, this will be the uh, story to connect to this uh, for today. Okay. Okay, as an introduction to this story, we saw that in this uh, continuation of Jesus' ministry in Galilee, look at the map, huh? okay, when he performed uh, miracles uh, in this area, in the Sea of Galilee here, okay, and uh, in front of uh, those who came to listen to his teaching, and uh, before he met the Pharisees and teachers of the law, he fed a large crowd with five loaves and two fish, so there were probably about 5,000 people that were listening to him and he was able to feed them and they were hungry after listening to his uh, teaching. Okay, and then we also saw miracles that he walked on water in the Sea of Galilee here. Okay, and he did some healing along the way. And so all these things were all done in front of the crowd. And the Pharisees have been following him and trying to refute his teaching. So this actually angered uh, the Pharisees in a way that Jesus had to show to the people what he can do. Now in the story, we heard that some Pharisees and the teachers of the law asked Jesus why the disciples didn't wash their hands before they ate in accordance with the Jewish tradition. So as I mentioned earlier about this tradition, so the Pharisees were actually very particular about the tradition. They, they, they kept very closely to the tradition, which is man-made and not God's command. So they were very angry and they question Jesus. Okay. Jesus rebukes the Pharisees for following tradition rather than the commands of God. Using the same example, their interpretation of the law to withhold money from aging parents. So as I mentioned also just now, that uh, the Pharisees think that uh, we don't give the money to the aging parents like what Jesus told them that to honor your father and mother. You know the Pharisees thought that by giving to the temple or to the to the to God in that way, they can uh, not necessary to go and honor or take care of their parents. So they are actually running away from taking care of their parents, which was against the command of God. You know, and then that's why Jesus questioned them why they follow tradition and not the command of God. So this is a big question that Jesus questioned them that. They are hypocrites. You know? okay. So, this is quoted what was mentioned in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah is found in the Old Testament, okay, a prophet. And then Isaiah already mentioned that during his time. Huh? So, Jesus was saying, You hypocrites, Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. The teachers of the law, the Pharisees, they are well versed with the Bible, so they know what Isaiah had mentioned. So, when Jesus quoted to them, These people honor me with their lips but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are but rules taught by men. Okay, so Jesus was telling them that they are not following the word of God. Okay, and they just uh, been able to tell the people to do certain things that are not in what God wants them to do. So they only pay, pay lip service. So this really angered the Pharisees a lot. You know, so they offended them. No. So then Peter still did not understand what Jesus was talking about. And he asked Jesus to explain the parable. Okay, and so Jesus was telling them, was telling Peter, that uh, what enters the mouth, okay, look at this picture, goes into the stomach and then out of the body. Okay, and but the things that come out of your mouth. Where does it come from? It comes from your heart. So, what is your heart? What is in your heart? Okay, so that is a big question. Now, those things are what makes you unclean and sinful. That's what Jesus was telling uh, the Pharisees and the people. Okay, is that out of the heart comes evil thoughts, you know, bad thing. You know, do bad things. You want. You are not. Uh, like jealousies and things like that, okay. And out of the heart also can commit murder, okay, adultery, stealing, lying, slander, 
you know, all sorts of bad things that we say. Okay, so all the sinful things. So these are all the sinful things that come out from heart. That Jesus was saying that. So just by washing your hands before you eat, it doesn't uh, remove all these things away. It's all the time in your heart because we are all born sinners. Okay, and the more important thing that we have to come to this lesson is that eating with unwashed hands does not make you unclean and sinful. Okay. But what comes out of your mouth can make you unclean. So here is a lesson of spiritual cleanliness and not physical cleanliness. Children, you have to still observe uh, washing your hands before you eat because, like I said, there are a lot of germs and everywhere. And especially now, during the uh, COVID-19, you have to even sanitize them. Okay, these are all physical cleanliness, huh? which we are not talking about here. We are talking about spiritual Cleanliness. Okay, so this is a lesson for us to learn for today. Okay, so what are the things that we have to learn in this summary here that we will discuss? First, we can say that our relationship with God is a matter of the heart. That means the heart carries a very important thing. Spiritual matters are matters of the heart. Okay, what comes from us. Okay, what is in us, what we were born with. So you must identify that, you must know that. Okay, and our sin comes from our hearts because we were born sinners. Okay, and which means it comes from us. We are born with the sins in our hearts, and only Jesus can wash away our sins. Okay, so if your hearts have sin, so we will always say things huh, from our mouth. They are sinful, okay? Just like, for example, if there's an apple tree, you bear apple. A durian tree, you bear durian. But if in our hearts, all the sins that come us out will be all the sinful things that we have, okay? So what must we do? We must be born again to ask Jesus into our hearts to renew and cleanse them. And the Holy Spirit will lead us out of our sinful nature. Okay? During so, we have to ask for Jesus to come into our hearts. Remember this uh, Sunday school song that we sing? Into, uh, into my heart, into my heart. Oh Lord, come into my heart. Okay? Come in today. Come in, I pray. Come into my heart today. Okay, Jesus? Okay, children? So while you pray, you always ask Jesus to come into your heart to help you, to guide you that the Holy Spirit will be with you and lead you out of our sinful nature. Next, it is only through a heart change that we can be safe. Invite Jesus to come into our hearts. So how? We pray, we read the Bible, we, read, uh, we listen to songs or hymns, okay? And we sing hymns, like just now I mentioned to you, into my heart, into my heart. Okay, we ask the Lord to come to my heart. Okay, and we also memorize Bible verses uh, as also one of our Sunday school motto to memorize uh, Bible verses so that we will always remember them and be able to guide us wherever we are, wherever we need, so that we can use uh, the Bible verses as a guide because the Bible word is all from God. Okay. And then we ponder or like we think about it. Huh? We don't just read and all the things, we also think about it. Okay? And we ask questions. Okay, and when we speak, we speak the word of God. Okay? So these are the things that uh, they have to have a heart change. Okay? And these are the ways that we can do it. Okay, children. And fifthly, the Old Testament tradition priests wash hands. Okay? And that command of God. And uh, is uh, versus the command of man. So, what do we follow, children? You follow the command of God. Huh? The command of God found in the Bible. It's all found in the Bible. Okay, man's tradition look down on others who don't follow, just like the Pharisees. You know, they look down on people who don't wash their hands, and you know that's why I question Jesus why his disciple didn't wash his hands. So they look down on them. Uh, that means. They are unclean and all that kind of thing. Okay, and 
we always use the Bible as a reference to what God wants us to do. In case we don't remember, in case we are not sure, the Bible is our guide. It is our instruction guide that we follow and that what God wants us to do. Okay, And more importantly, our obedience to Christ. Because Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Okay, Jesus is the only way. So we follow Jesus, we follow the command of God, we follow the word of God, and the word of God is in the Bible. So remember to read your Bible, okay, every day, okay, and ask questions if you are not sure, okay, so that you can be able to understand better. Okay, that's the end of the lesson that we learned today. Okay, so remember the words of God, how we stay clean in our hearts. Now, what is the memory verse for today? Memory verse is also taken from this uh, chapter that we read through this now. It's taken from Matthew chapter 15, verse 8. Uh, children try to memorize this. This is quite a simple one. So, uh, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. So, this is, remember, uh, Jesus was telling the disciples and his followers that the Pharisees just use their lips, they only talk me, okay? But their hearts are not, okay? Because they don't accept Jesus, they don't receive Jesus, they don't invite Jesus to their heart, to clean their heart, okay? So their heart still unclean. So they thought by washing, they can be clean. So children, so when you pray, you invite Jesus to your heart, yeah, so that it can be clean, okay? Now, Let's go to the Lord and pray for this session here. Thank you, Father God, for this time that you can be reading your words and listening to you. May you continue to teach us, to guide us, and show us the way. May you continue to bless the children, to let them know that you are the true one and only living God, and you are the way, the life. And no one comes to you except through Jesus. Lord, I pray that you will help the children to understand you, to know that you are always with them, to give them a clean heart, that they can ask you into their heart. And may your Holy Spirit guide them and show them and teach them that they will become good children, children who knows who is their God, children who read the word of God, and children who listen to you. May you continue to bless them, to bless their families in the weeks and months ahead. We pray all this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Okay, thank you children for today. Thank you for listening and uh, we hope you can join us back another time. Okay. And remember, invite your friends to come and listen to the word of God. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you.